Fajeki, Fajeki, Jeki. The beat is real. Don't we make it kill ya? Get your green cell and glucometer and check it. Sugar level, check it, check it. Fajeki, Jeki, Jeki. Fajeki, Fajeki, Jeki, Jeki. Green cell and glucometer, check it. Fajeki, Jeki, Jeki. Push sugar level, Fajeki, Fajeki, Jeki, Jeki. For check it, for check it, check it, check it Reselect Glucometer Everybody check now This advert has been vetted and approved by the FDA Step into a world of exquisite fragrances at Ghana's number one perfume hub Visit us at Rack Luxury Perfume Located in Santa Maria, Asiama Junction Or find us in New Akimota Opposite Christ Redeemed Glory Church just a three-minute walk from Akimoto Melkum, your journey to finding the perfect scent begins here. Whether you're shopping for yourself or looking for the perfect gift, we offer an extensive collection for both wholesale and retail. Proudly, we are the exclusive sole distributor for the luxurious Gloria perfume. Follow us on social media for the latest updates and exclusive deals. Find us on Instagram at rack underscore perfumes and on Snapchat and TikTok at rack underscore perfumes. Connect with us on Facebook at Rack Luxury Perfumes and be the first to know about new arrivals. Reach out to us at plus 233-59461-6199 or WhatsApp at 059-861-2592. Rack. Luxury perfumes. Smell unique, smell classy. Something really tells me that this particular video that I'm about to react to, um, at the right time, Shatawale himself would respond to it. I'm so sure that when the time comes, Shatawale himself would see the wisdom to respond to this particular video and the response from where I sit. I see it being positive. But then I also have someone or two to see even before he comes out with his response. Because um, I know most of these things, as much as they would start without me, somewhere in the middle, some reflex will still have to come and do something and let some things happen. And all those things, we will make sure it happens indeed. And as much as I have some things to say, I just intend to come share it with you before later when the king sees it necessary he would also put out what he thinks about it so once again welcome to the editorial starting our week on this note and i want you to be a part of this um, at every point in time we do this with you so when you get the opportunity also feel free to be a part of it share your opinions views and what our views with us subscribe to us and let's do some more Sammy Flex seated with Digital Rasta, who is doing our camera for us, and Richie Flex, editor, director of the show. Welcome. Now, even before I start talking, I'm sure I would have to let you see this video first. Because this video is about a young man. Um, I'm getting information. It is coming from a gentleman called Redwan. And um, Redwan is an active member of Edastar, an executive member of the Bawe SM fan base. Yeah, later I got to know. In fact, I never knew he was the one until later I got some information that, oh, that was a gentleman called Red One. Maybe right, maybe wrong. I'm still keeping it safe so that if it goes either ways, some reflex, I'll also be safe. In this video, he's appealing to Shatawale. He's telling Shatawale that some years ago, he went to Kumasi, spent his own money resources with his team to collaborate with the team that was making music happen that time in Kumasi, a.k.a. the Saka Boys. And that project he called Kumasi Invasion Project really saw most of these young talents doing collaborations with Shatawale, showing videos with, shooting videos with them in their neighborhoods, and again coming forward to even promote this song. That was not all. Even after... He also had some individual collaborations with some of these guys. And today, many of the guys that he did that with, today many of them are really huge in the music space. And this is what the gentleman saw, and he is also talking about it. Watch this one. I'll be right back. Um, Nyama, 
First of all, I must admit that I love the approach, I love the presentation of this video. And that, I need to commend the gentleman who did it and whoever advised him to do this. I need to commend them for their beautiful approach, for their respectful approach, for their gentle approach, and for this particular presentation. Because I know many young people looking for the small hype that would come out of this will start by attacking the personality of Shatawale. They will start by speaking anyhow to Shatawale. They will start by shouting on top of their voices. They will start by pretending or behaving as if Shatawale owes them. That's how many would have presented this particular case. They will start shouting, pick, pack, 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 pick, pick, pack, pack, pick, 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 as if Shatawale has taken their something or as if Shatawale owes them something that is not paid. But this gentleman's approach, in a more calm manner, very apologetic, very humble. When I saw the video, I said, oh, wow. In recent times, you don't see young people coming to social media to request something with this kind of approach. Oftentimes, when you see people coming on social media for a request, they go it the wrong way. They do it the wrong way. They always miss the, 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 the path because they think that, oh, it is their space. They own it. And knowing a brand like Shatawale, such approach to many would win. Such approach to many would be the order of the day. But he decided to do it the right way. And personally, I'm so satisfied with what I have seen. That is my first point. Well, so this is also my advice or this is my contribution. After commending them or commending him for his beautiful approach and all that, I also have this advice to share. Now, ladies and gentlemen, listen. If you have listened to Shatawale well on several occasions, sometimes even in his songs, he's maintained something that it is not as if featuring you alone is going to make you blow. I think on his song called Talk Talk, he even mentioned it in it. There was a song. He mentioned it in it, and he made reference to, you think Sarkodie just will feature every artist from Tema, and he will hit, or you think Sarkodie will feature just every artist from Tema. That kind of vibe he mentioned in there. And again, I think in the song, he mentioned that, okay, let me feature one or hit, something like that. So that particular position or stance by Shatawale, if you followed him, if you've listened to him, I know you know what his stance is when it comes to featuring talent or when it comes to doing projects with talent. Now, 
Our brother said or suggested that after Shatter had done Kumasi Invasion Project, that is KIP or KIP, he should also do Accra Invasion Project. And he calls that IPE. And that is fine. Now, let me caution those who are leading this. Sometimes it's not just about sitting down for someone to come and do it with you or for you. It is about what you are also doing for yourself. If we can all say in honesty, at that time, Shatawale saw the energy that the young boys were coming up with. And he felt that, oh, the boys are doing something. As an OG in the game, I don't have to sit down, fold my arms and watch them just like that. Let me also go and contribute something to them. At that time, he saw the kind of energy the boys were putting out. Their songs, their videos, their craze. Everything was on point. And these were guys who had started their thing with nobody paying attention to them. But when Shata realized that, oh, it is working, it is working. They want someone to hold them down. They want someone to just give them that encouragement. They want someone to give them the vim that they can do it. That was when he came up and said, oh, let me also come forward, do it in a way that the boys will get the kind of charisma, the support, and everything that they are looking for. And he came out to do this project with them. So, in our bid to talk to Shatawale, to convince him to do something in Accra called the Accra Invasion Project, my question is, the people in Accra that you would want him to do this thing with, how are they also putting in the work? I did not watch the full video, but the little video that I've seen, I saw you had a paper, and you were saying that you want to put out some list, some few people that you think that at the right time, if Shata is ready to do this, he should do it with them. I don't know if that particular list has been put out already, or you are yet to put it out. But I ask myself again, how well are those people putting in the work? You see, in this world, if you are not ready to help yourself, it is hard for someone to help you. In this world, if you are not ready to put in the work yourself, it is difficult for someone to spoon feed you from beginning to end. It is hard. You have to put yourself out that you want to do this. You have to let the world know that indeed, that is how you want to achieve. You are going all out. That one, someone will sit behind, would see your efforts, and your efforts will encourage the person to come do something with you. It is the same way that the guys in Kumasi did. Shatawali saw them. He saw them putting in their works. He saw them trying. He saw them doing it by themselves. And he said, oh, they need a helping hand. At least, if I am to go closer to them, if not for anything, I'll give them a boost. And that was what he gave to them. He went there and gave them a boost. After, many of them confessed how that collaboration Shatter did with them, shut them up. Going to their hoods to shoot music videos with them, many of them confessed how that thing helped their careers. One of them has been Kin Paluta, who in an interview had said that he was doing it. His people were not really paying attention to him until Shatter decided to do that project with them, a Hunji Las Vegas project with them. Went to his, um, um, his hood. He was from Mississippi, eh? Atonsu, Mississippi. Okay. Went to Atonsu to shoot a music video with him. And that was how he got that firm ground. Like, hey, if you have been able to bring Shatawale, almighty Shatawale into Atonsu, then indeed you are getting somewhere to him. And I did not say this. It was Kim Paluta himself who said it in an interview. The video is out there for you to confirm. I don't even have to belabor the point. It's out there. So, when I saw the video of Accra Invasion Project, I asked myself, okay, the people who are in Accra and that they would want Shatawali to do such a thing with them, how well are they putting in efforts? How well are they putting in works? Are they relying on their small, small community hits and feeling big? Therefore, they are sleeping. Are they relying on the small, small shows that they are playing and now they are already feeling stars? So they would even want Shatawale himself to start looking for them. 
this is my question to whoever is pushing this agenda. Because Zee Shatawal, he works so hard. Even with the level that he's got into in his career, the gentleman works like he's now coming up. He works like there is no tomorrow. He works like the competition just started for him. Some of us, sometimes we even get surprised and shocked. Like, ah, with all these things, at every point in time he's working. We are traveling here to go and work. When you think, oh, he's tired after a show, he should be sleeping, he's on his computer. Tum -tum 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 playing a beat. The next day he tells you, oh, I made this song. You go and listen to it and it's fire. So the people that you want this project to even go in their favor, how well are they pushing for themselves? Are they getting pussy to eat? Sorry, excuse my words. So therefore, they are feeling stars already because of course, yeah, if you're able to put out one song or two, especially if you work, you run your thing around the coast, around the coastal areas. Oh, problem solved. If you're jedu, you go enjoy life. Are they enjoying life out of their little fame and their little hate that they've gotten? I know Shata would be willing to do this because if not for anything, these are his countrymen. I know, but how well are they pushing it? Now, let me drop this point before I run away on this particular issue. Over the years, we've seen that many within this community, the Accra Gang community doing music, we have seen many people beefing Shatawale. We've seen many people dissing Shatawale. We've seen many people fighting Shatawale. We've seen many people doing all sorts of things to prove that they are antagonistic against Shatawali. So, personally, when I also saw your request, I asked myself, okay, so what does it mean? Those people who have said ghost bash about Shatawali, would they be part of this? Would they be willing? Would the spirit be right for them to connect? You guys know music thing is a sp is spiritual. This music thing always has a spiritual connection to it. So, if in the past, you've had brushes with Shatawale because of this and that. And today, you want this to be done. How well are you going to do this? How do you think this will be done? How do you think this will be executed? Many of them have gone into unnecessary banter, beefs with Shatawale in the past years. I think the last interview, um, Chameleon granted. He said yes. He has had some beef with Shatawale, but he realized that it was not even needed. He realized that it was not even helpful. And that even despite everything, in his life as a musician, the person who has given him the biggest show ever to play was Shatawali. Chameleon's words, I am not saying it. He said, despite all these things, the people who have given him the biggest shows ever to play, a show that he really earned money from, was Shatawali and nobody else. And when I know that many of these people within the Ghana community, within the Accra enclave, when I know many of them have gone into fisticuffs and not like physical fisticuffs, into, that is industry fisticuffs, aka beefs and other things, I ask myself, who is he going to do this with? So, ladies and gentlemen, sometimes in our bid to also look for that attention, we should take it slowly. We should slow our boats a little bit. We should take it slowly. Because sometimes the giddy 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 does not take us anywhere. Later you would regret it. And Chameleon said it that oh he regrets spending those times or days fighting Shatawale or behaving like he's arguing or beefing with Shatawale. He realized it was not necessary. And it is that, that story lives here around the, most of the people around the coastal areas or in the gang communities. Many have had issues, unnecessary ones, with Shatawale over things that you don't even know about. So, yes, as much as this particular issue is worth looking into, I pray that those who would want to make this work, they should listen to what I've said. It is not to make it look difficult, but it is rather to pave the way for this to happen. How well are you guys working? Shatawale cannot do it alone for you. And again, the fact that Shatawale will be, jump on your song or he put you on your song does not make you like, a, like instant hit of an artist. You need to put in the works. How well are you prepared to put in the work yourself? Many are not doing it. 
Many are just there enjoying the frenzy around it. Many are just there enjoying the hype. But if they can put in their works, trust me, everything will be fine. So, to read one and his people pushing the Accra Invasion Project, that is AIP Project, it's a good call. And I think I've seen a screenshot of um, Shata talking to someone on TikTok and telling the person that um, he should either give me your number or talk to Sammy Fleck. So I know this will surely come to my table. But before it comes to my table for the team to even address it in our office, this is what I think in advance. Always do it right. Put in the work. And some don't relax. Don't think that, oh, it is for me um, if he wants to do it. No, put in the work. The work would attract others to come on board. And that's how I would want to end this. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to us. Drop your comments. And let's do some more. My name is Sammy Flex. I'm out.